Gentlemen, welcome back to MGTOW Money. Today's topic, how to avoid losing money on your investments. Before we get to that, thanks to the ongoing support from the Patreon investors in this channel. And thank you to those guys who bought me a cup of coffee via PayPal and Bitcoin based upon the last videos. Guys, I'm glad you enjoyed it and I appreciate all the nice comments. Before I get into today's topic, I also want to mention a book. And this is especially is interesting because I rarely take notes out of a book, but this book was really impactful. It's called The Success Equation, and specifically it kind of deals with the idea of skill versus luck, a really interesting concept that I've thought a lot about. It's by Michael Mabusan. Uh, See the link in the video description of today's video to that book. I think all of you will really enjoy it. On to today's topic, how you're going to avoid losing money on your investments. All right, men, hands up. Who gets angry about hearing negative opinions, contrary opinions about your investments. In other words, some idea that runs contrary to your investment. In other words, if you've got a lot of money in Bitcoin or cryptos, or if you've got a lot of money tied up in the stock market or real estate, etc., and some guy comes along and tells you, or you read something and says just the opposite. They say that, oh, cryptos are a fraud, or real estate is about to crash, or that the stock market is going to zero, etc. Men, you're lying to yourself if you didn't raise your hand, because all of us, Every single one of us, every single investor in some way, shape, or form is at least susceptible to this, including myself. Sometimes I cringe when I read negative articles or hear negative feedback about my ideas and that type of thing. However, I've got some specific ideas for you, three specific ways that you can deal with specifically these emotional biases, if you will. These are simply emotional responses. Before I get into those three ways, let me mention today's sponsor. Men, I know some very successful men who hate books. They do not ever read books. However, despite that, they are very, very successful. You do not have to be a book reader out there to be an extremely successful person. I am telling you that for a fact, and I'm sure a lot of you are already very successful in your lives, and you never read books. And I furthermore know that at least four out of five people never read books. However, even if you don't read books, I highly encourage you to consider audiobooks. You can get a tremendous amount of knowledge of learning of actionable ideas and principles from audiobooks. And specifically, I'm going to reference you. Go to the video description right now. Click on the link there for Audible. Yeah, they're owned by Amazon.com. You know Amazon.com. They fully own Audible. And you will get two free, yes, I said free, absolutely no charge, no gimmicks, no scams here, etc., I already did this myself a year ago, as a matter of fact. You'll get two free audiobooks for nothing just by taking on a trial membership. They give you a 30-day free trial, cost you nothing. You can cancel any time right online, again, with Audible. Two free audiobooks. They got thousands of audiobooks to choose from. Matter of fact, I picked up Better Procrustes. I've listened to it probably half a dozen times from Nicholas Taleb. I can't recommend it enough, by the way. Again, Go to the video description today, grab your two free audiobooks from audible.com right now. On topic, confirmation bias is one of the most common ways that destroys men, that cost investors, I don't care if you've got a dollar or a billion dollars, I consistently see this idea, this confirmation bias consistently destroying men. Specifically what I'm talking about when I say confirmation bias, when you're looking for information about whatever investment you're tied into, you're looking for other people to feed your opinion, to tell you, yeah, this is a great idea. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah, hey, I've got all this money in precious metals. Yo, you are so smart. That is a great idea. The world's going to collapse. It's going to go up to 100%. Again, you're looking for ideas that will simply confirm that you're right and that everyone else is wrong and that you know that you're in this secret clique of people that just knows no matter your opinion on anything again whether it be the stock market cryptos politics marriage know and 
fully and understand the other side's argument. In other words, know the other opinion. For example, the last video I did, of course, I recommended buying gold, at least putting some percentage of your por- portfolio into gold. 5 to 25% is probably pretty accurate. There were multiple men, no problem, who gave some very specific concrete reasons why gold is not a good investment. They mentioned, for example, it doesn't have interest. Uh, you've got to store it. There's counterparty risk if you're using paper gold, and it really doesn't do anything. And furthermore, it certainly hasn't done anything over the past seven, eight years. You know what? They're right. I can't argue those objective facts. Those are things that happen, and those are things that you have to deal with. However, again, I fully understand them. I recognize them. I fully integrated them into my mind, and I've decided to make a decision and move forward. You need to do the same thing with every single one of your decisions, and specifically when they get into investments, is make sure you fully understand other side's argument. Two, you need to stop following the herd. You need to stop jumping on the bandwagon. Before cryptos really crashed, a commenter said none of his friends were interested in gold. They only talked about cryptos. And now, of course, here they are a year or so later and they're significantly down. My point is is that just don't get caught up in sort of this wave of emotion. Again, using another example, I can remember back in 2011 when precious metals had their most recent run, silver ran to approximately $50 Approximately $50 an ounce. Right now it's at $15 an ounce. But when it was at $50, I can remember many, many people saying, oh, it's going to $100. It's going to $150. It might even go to $200. The point is, you are going to find no safety in the herd. You are going to find no safety as well. We're all in this together. Frankly, again, as I've said so many times before, no one cares more about your money than you do. I, again, using another real life example, back in the early 2000s, 2000, 2004, 5, 6, I was highly encouraged by numerous people around me, buy real estate, buy real estate, buy real estate. Needless to say, a few years later, that same real estate that I would have bought would have been down 30 to 50% in value. In simple terms, whenever you perceive that a particular investment seems way too popular, that too many people are involved in it, you need to seriously start thinking about, well, you know, maybe I shouldn't put any more money into this. Maybe I just need to sit on some cash for a while. Lastly, the third most important reason why so many people lose money is that they avoid responsibility. I've seen this happen so many times where a guy puts his money into something and is and loses And as opposed to saying, well, I made an error and I'll just get on with it. Hopefully I can learn something from it. Instead, it becomes, I'm going to blame someone else. I'm going to blame that rich guy on CNBC who said, I'm going to blame the Nobel Prize winning economist who I heard speak last week or I read some article or whatever. I Or I went to this guy's office. He had those expensive suits and the, the, the and he's got a degree from Harvard and oh, that's right. He drives a brand new McLaren, etc. These things are irrelevant. Let me give you a secret. Their ability, these guys, their ability to predict the future is probably just as good as you or me. In other words, their ability to consistently tell you what's going to happen in the future to any investment, whether it be cryptos, whether it be precious metals, whether it be stocks, bonds, whatever, no matter how extremely, quote, fancy, quote unquote, their credentials are, they're irrelevant. Their ability to forecast the future is, again, just as good as you or me when it comes down to it. What I want to finish by saying is, men, nearly all MGTOW, in my opinion, with perhaps just a little bit of financial coaching and guidance, especially if they get started at a relatively young age, can achieve FU money at a relatively young age. It just takes you, my MGTOW brother, get your emotions under control. And that, of course, applies to all aspects of your life. Gentlemen, as always, I hope you found this profitable. Hit the like button if you did. John Galt, out.